You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really am happy that you're here today checking out this video. If you are new, my name is Renata, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really hope that I bring you some sort of inspiration and joy when you see these videos. So as we move into a new year, I wanted to just thank you guys for all the support that you've given me through 2021. So today's video is a review of this beautiful fabric gifted to me by Minerva as well as a new look pattern. It is N6696. Here is the image of the pattern. That is what we're going to take a look at today and I'm very excited to share it with you. I hope that this video can be uploaded on January 1st just to kick off the year because January is the time in the year where my motivation is really low. I don't know about you guys, but after Christmas, I feel like Christmas is like the time where it gets really, really high. I'm excited and I'm energetic and I'm ready to make, um, to sew projects and just do awesome things. And then by the end of the year, everything has just, deflated and I am blah. So <laughs> hopefully this video goes up on Friday. That is the goal. I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, so let's just jump into this video. As always with any of the fabric or any item that I have been gifted to by Minerva, I just want to give them a big shout out and thank them for continuing to support me and my channel. So this fabric is a Lady McElroy. It is a cotton sateen and it just has the most beautiful and unique design. So let me just take you through what the website has to say regarding this pattern. The official name of this pattern, this fabric, is Orchid Lynx, and I think it's so beautiful. I really love this color scheme. I like cotton sateen. It has that little stretch in the fabric, and um, these pink flowers are just so beautiful, and they're just... They're, they make me happy. It's January. Usually it's really bleak this time of the year, but this just is preparing me for springtime. I know it's a bit early to start talking about spring, but this sort of thing just makes my January a much happier place looking at this color and actually this fantastic design. So the fabric is 97% cotton and 3% spandex. This is a 57.1 inches in width and the weight is a medium. So it has a little structure to the fabric and it will keep any design because it is so structured. So that really much sums up this beautiful fabric. Again, it is Orchid Lynx and it is a Lady McElroy fabric in cotton sateen. So the pattern now we're going to take a look at is amazing. I haven't really sewn a new look pattern in forever. This pattern really caught my eye. I just think the silhouette is beautiful. I love the, the simplicity of it. And I wanted a pattern that would marry nicely to this fabric because this fabric has such a unique design. I just didn't want to go too heavy on anything that had a lot of pleating or minuscule details that would hide away the beauty of the fabric. So this pattern really spoke to me and it is a simple dress. So let's just go over the details of this from Simplicity's website. 
So it says here that this is a Missy's cap sleeve dress with or without side front slit. And there are back options, one with a button and tie closure and then a traditional zipped back closure. So that pretty much sums up this pattern. Now, when we get to the 360, you'll notice one small difference to my dress. And basically, I shortened the dress. That is the only thing I did differently for this pattern. I didn't want to go my own way. I wanted to follow the instructions of the pattern because I don't usually so new look patterns so i wanted to follow the instructions and just really get a feel for it however i just didn't want a long skirt i made a very long dress for my little red dress projects actually i made two and i just was kind of finished with long dresses for this year and that's why i shortened this dress i love how this fit i cut it a size 12 and it fit perfectly. I am roughly five, eight and three quarters, five, nine in height. And I weigh around 145, 47 pounds. So just for reference, I also have a very athletic and slightly muscular um, frame because I work out and I run a lot. So my frame is geared more towards a, an athlete. If you are trying to figure out which one would work best for you and how the the pattern would actually fit on your body type but I think that this is such a beautiful design that it would work beautifully with multiple body types and you would just get an amazing dress so I decided to go with the special option in the back where the back has this really lovely open detail i love a wow factor in anything that i sew and i just had to do this one there isn't anything else i can see other than the instructions were really good i followed them to a t and the fit was perfect I typically sew a size 12 because of my bigger frame regarding my shoulders. I have broad shoulders and I always go for a size 12, especially when it's an, um, an, a woven fabric and not a knit. So that pretty much sums up this entire project. I really love it. I love how it turned out. And let's move on to the 360. I'm gonna meet you here in the end and wrap up. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door Push you away and we're done just like that Something about you is pulling me back And I'm holding on have it guys thank you so much for watching this video let me know what your thoughts are regarding this dress would you have um, made any modifications to this or do you like how it fit me I love 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 the videos that we got and the photos that we got everything turned out really good and I really like when you sew a pattern that it fits you and you don't have to do multiple alterations because I do not like to alter patterns. 
I struggle with being a sustainable type of person because when things don't go my way, I'm like, I'm done with this, time to move on. So when patterns work for me, I cannot help but, you know, support them and say, yes, this actually worked for me and it fit great and it worked well. I didn't notice any I didn't notice anything that I would share with you that shouted out, there's an error in this pattern, this doesn't work. Everything pretty much um, fit together like a puzzle piece. So that is it for this beautiful dress and this amazing fabric. One thing I forgot to mention, the bodice in this pattern comes with front darts and bust darts. Also the front darts lined nicely to the skirt dart so it looks like a beautiful straight line from under your bus straight to or should I say straight through the waistline and meeting or should I say kissing the two darts nicely so that was one thing I didn't mention earlier and that that's pretty much it regarding this dress Thank you guys so much for watching this video have a wonderful day and i will see you on another upload thank you bye bye push you away and we're done just like that something about you is pulling me back and i'm holding